What's up guys? Here we are today at Subzilla. Now you might be wondering, what is Subzilla? Well, it's not a place where you go get a foot long, Italian on wheat, <laughs> hold the mayo. <laughs> it is a supplement shop. This is where I come and I get all my supplements personally, my protein, my pre-workout, you know, all the above. So uh, yeah, today I'm gonna show you what the top three supplements are that you should be taking and that I take on a regular basis. It can be a little confusing when you first come into a store, you got all this selection, you don't know what's good, what's bad, what to buy and what not to. So I'm gonna help you out today. Let's get started. The first supplement on my list of the top three supplements you should be taking is whey protein powder. Now protein is the most thermogenic of all macronutrients, meaning that the process your body goes through to break down a gram of protein is way harder than it is for a carbohydrate or a gram of fat. So your body, the, the likelihood of your body storing protein, excess protein as fat is very, very unlikely. So more protein in your diet, the better. The majority of your calories, I believe, should come from protein. That's whether you're lifting or not. Um, to get the muscle building benefits, you want at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight so for your 200 pound man that is 200 grams of protein two scoops of protein is going to get you you know about 50 grams uh, I have a preferred brand it is rule one this is probably the best tasting and the best quality protein I found there's a ton of brands here that are really great um, you can go with but uh, I, stick, I, I tend to find one and I stick with it, so this is my personal favorite. Um, some honorable mentions would be like Select Protein, that's a really good one, or even Optimum Nutrition, the one you see behind me. Uh, just make sure when you're buying protein that you are buying it from a reputable place. A lot of your big box stores, like your Kroger's, your Targets, your Walmarts, they carry protein, but the quality bar is way down low. Um, you're not getting exactly what's advertised on the label, and you are also not necessarily getting a good flavor. A lot of those ones can taste like sawdust, uh, dirt, um, compost, you know, uh, you want a good brand. I can mix this with water and just drink it and that's it. No milk required, you know, none of that. So protein, everybody should have it in their diet. I am a strong supporter of that for sure. When I build meal plans for people, protein is always the first thing I get dialed in because it is the most important. So yeah, protein, drink up. So the second supplement on my list of the top three supplements you should be taking is pre-workout powder. Now you might ask, what benefits is pre-workout powder gonna have for me? Well, the biggest thing with pre-workout is the motivational aspect. Like, you can be at home and you can just be tired and you can feel like not even getting into the gym and you can take a scoop of pre-workout and it's gonna literally fire you up and make you wanna get in there. Um, that alone, you can't really put a dollar sign on that motivation because when I first started out, I necessarily didn't want to go to the gym all the time. But that pre-workout, once you take the scoop, you're like, well crap, I gotta go now. You know what I mean? So on top of that too, you got a lot of vasodilators and different ingredients in these that'll really help bring out your pump and your muscle fullness and your vascularity. Some things that might not be of interest to a lot of people, but I definitely feel better off taking a pre-workout. The mental focus and the clarity is huge with these, especially my favorite brand being Limitless. There's actually no caffeine in this one, which I like, so I can take it late at night. I don't have to worry about it affecting my sleep at all. But the mental clarity you get, the razor sharp focus, I'm in the gym, I get in, I get out, I do all my work, and the pumps are really good. Uh, you know, this is this brand is by far my favorite. So yeah, pre-workout is huge. Don't discount it. I recommend at least giving it a try. And if you're if you're sensitive to stimulants like caffeine, like Limitless, this is a great brand. Although all these brands here are excellent. I've tried almost all of them. So give it a shot. I'm telling you, pre-workout number two. It's essential. And the final supplement on my list is green superfood powder. You might ask what that is. Well, green superfood powder is where they take your broccoli, your kale, your spinach, your spirulina, your chlorella. They take all those essential green superfoods and they condense them down into a drinkable powder. So a lot of people, they might have the chicken down, they might have the rice down, but they're not getting the nutrients and the minerals from the vegetables that you should have in your daily life. It's really hard to explain the overall sense of well-being and the energy you get from having a green superfood powder in your diet. A lot of people are lacking these, and a lot of people have been lacking these for a very long time. Once you reintroduce them, your body's getting something it has not had in a very long time. When I first started taking these, the, the sense of clarity, the sense of well-being is just, it's, it's astounding. The energy is great too. A lot of people ask me how I perform at such a high level and how I'm so busy all the time. It's, I, a lot of it has to do with this, you know? I still eat my vegetables, but I take this every single day. My favorite brand is Cyto Greens. I take this, this is my preferred brand, but there's a lot of brands out there. Like I said, it's like the protein you wanna make sure you're getting a good quality, reputable brand. And uh, Cyto Greens is my choice, so. I think everybody should be taking a green superfood powder for sure, especially if diet and you know your health is of the utmost importance to you. 
All right, guys, I just finished up my top three supplements that you should be taking. Now, a uh, big shout out to Subzilla and Ryan for letting me shoot here on a Sunday when they are closed. So props, buddy, I appreciate it. Um, the Subzilla here in Lancaster is located on Edie Road right next to the Panera Bread and GameStop. Um, there's a lot of Subzillas in Ohio, so get on Subzilla.com if you want to find a location nearest you. I appreciate what these guys do. They only bring in good quality products, so uh, I love spending my money here in this place. So. Now, something I wanna talk about real quick before I leave, meal prep is huge when you're trying to reach your goals and a lot of people that I build plans for tell me that when they're having trouble, it's when they're traveling, they have a hard time bringing their meals with them, eating them on the go. Well, a bag like this, this is a Fitmark bag, they sell them here, I have one personally for when I'm traveling. It's got ice packs included, all the Tupperware containers, everything, it all fits perfectly in this bag and you can just travel with it and not fall off the wagon. So with that, I'm out of here. If you go down to the description box below, you can find all my social media, especially my Snapchat. I'm trying to get people to follow me on there because I think I'm kind of funny and it lets me touch base with people on a daily basis. So like and subscribe, leave a comment. That helps me out a ton, lets me know what I, where I can improve in ideas for future videos. So um, as always guys, I will talk to you soon. New videos every single week and yeah, train hard, eat good, feel good, all that good stuff. Talk to you later guys, see ya.